Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to be testing out Vanilla OS. This is a, uh, I believe it's a Ubuntu based system and it's pretty much just a known desktop and it seems to be pretty standard. I mean it's called Vanilla for a reason so let's take a look at it and see what it has to offer. I have the ISO on the virtual machine and here we are at the installation screen so let's get the installation started. All right. Put this in the center. Language, English, United States. That's correct. Layout, English. Not Australian, though. Okay, English, US. That's what I want. Click next. Region, Africa. No. We need America. And Los Angeles. At least for my part of the world. All right, select the disk, it's selected, configure, entire disk, that's good enough for me. The following changes will be made to your disk, please review them carefully. Confirm changes, now we add a use manifold. Confirm installation. The following changes will be made to your system. Language, keyboard, time zone, disk, and users. Let's do it. All right. We're installing Vanilla OS. So uh, while this is going, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video. When I come back, we should either be greeted by a reboot screen or on the new system itself. All right, installation is now complete, completed, so uh, let's go ahead and reboot the system so we can take a look at Vanilla OS. All right, we're at the login screen, so let me go ahead and uh, log in. And we are logged in. And we're also greeted by the the GNOME welcome screen. So we've seen this a few times already. So let's start. You can change color screen from light to dark. I'll just put it on dark. Package manager, flat pack, app image. Like I said, it's uh, based on Ubuntu. So it's going to have a uh, app also. Applications, core applications, office, common utilities. I guess it's going to install these afterwards. We shall see. Time ship, we'll skip that. Open VM tools, we'll skip that. Restricted codecs, we'll install those. Extra setting. The following are optional settings. Leave them as they are if you don't know what to do. App port, I'll just leave it like that. All right, so I guess right now it's installing uh, the codecs and Office and things like that. So while it's doing that in the background, let's take a look at our panel, which should be the GNOME panel. Yeah, if this is GNOME, GNOME, so it's the GNOME panel. So we have our system tray and on GNOME, it's always a single button that operates all of your system tools in the system tray. So your volume rocker, your internet connection, and your power sessions are all here along with uh, taking a snapshot, system settings, notification tools, it's all in the one setting. And that's how the system tray looks on uh, GNOME. And then in the center we have a clock Clicking on it opens up a notification manager and a calendar. And then over here we have our activities. Activities is kind of like, uh, I guess it's supposed to be the, the menu. But then again, when you open up activities, you have a dock menu here. And then when you click on this right here, it actually opens up your applications. So activities, it's, it's like an extra, an extra redundant step. Basically, but then again, this gets you to, you know, your other, uh, that's all basically like clicking on activity does. 
All right, so the welcome screen, everything's completed, so we'll close that. And then we'll take a look at our dock item, dock items. So, of course, it's going to be the GNOME terminal, being that we are on GNOME. Let me see. Oh, it's console. The GNOME project, 43.0. So, hmm, okay. I thought it would be the GNOME terminal, but it's not. It's console. All righty. And let's see if we have our friendly HTOP installed. We do not. We'll go ahead and install them real quick. Error. Something about a broken pipe, huh? Errors were encountered while processing. I guess we won't get to see each shop. Oh well. Anyways, back to activities. We have a Ubuntu desktop guide. Okay. Usually this is a known desktop guide, but I guess it's vanilla, vanilla boots. All right. Anyways, this is your uh, desktop guide. So if you're looking for links on how to work your system, you check here. And if it's not here, then I guess you'll have to do a Google search, but everything should be here. All right. Back to activities. Now we have our software manager. So let's look at the version first. Software, the known project, 43.0. Now let's see if we can get HTOP installed through here. There it is. Install. We'll go back and look for a nail fetch. Nothing found on Neil Fetch. All right, while it's installing uh, HTOP, let's take a look at other things, like our file manager. And being that we are known, it should be files. And it is 43.0. Activities. What do we have here? Photos. So just a simple image viewer, image manager. Photos 43.0. Access, organize, and share your photos on GNOME. And then we have our web. Now, what does this open up? Firefox or its own? I don't think it's Firefox. Welcome to web. Start browsing and your most visited sites will appear here. So it has a help. It's a, an introduction to web, a web browser for GNOME with built-in privacy. Okay. So this is a help. It's like a basic, uh, normal gnome help. But uh, is there an about? Yes, there is. Web 43.0, a simple, clean, beautiful view of the web, powered by WebKit GTK. All right, that's your web browser. And let's do a little search right here. Vanilla OS. See what we come up with. And we are on the Vanilla OS uh, website. Uh, I'll just redirect off for now. All right. So 
Got a few images here. Pretty simple, straightforward website. It's not really giving too much on the about. All right. So let's get back over here. I see HTOP is still trying to install, so there might be an error because of those uh, glitches we saw earlier. But anyways, those are the pinned items on your dock. And here are applications. Pretty uh, small set of applications. We got extension manager, music, vanilla OS control center, videos, calculator, settings, system monitor, and utilities. So there's not really a whole lot here. Just a simple basic uh, system. I guess with a name like uh, Vanilla, yeah, it should be basic. So keep it basic and clean. And that's pretty much what we have here. All right, so this is still going, so I don't think it's gonna finish, so I'm just gonna close it. And we saw on the, on the welcome screen that we could change from light to dark on our uh, themes. But let's take a look at our at our settings here and we can get some uh, other appearance options if any so it looks like it's bundled all together into one so the default and dark which is what we were on and then we have our wallpapers so I wonder if it changes like if we were on default and dark because it has two shades. Yeah, it does. All right. So this will be the same thing. It should change wallpapers. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. Some of these are basic. Some of these are known. All right. That's your wallpaper settings. So I'm going to just go back and set it to here, does that look pretty cool? I like the way that looks. Makes it feel alive. All right, this is Vanilla OS. Like I said, it's very simple, very straightforward. Uh, yeah, I highly recommend this. It looks pretty good. And then from here, you can just create it and make your own. But uh, as we saw earlier on the on app, we have some broken uh, depository it looked like. So uh, of course, those need to get fixed. But I'm pretty sure there's a simple solution for it. I'm just not trying to do that right now. So, uh, yeah. If there's something you're looking for, as usual, the homepage and download links will be in the video description. And that's going to do it for me. I'm out of here.